I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to count the number of turning points from the given polynomial equation. We will go through these five examples one by one. You can pause the video, copy and then answer your questions and then look into my suggestions. The first function is f of x equals to minus 0 0.4 x to the power of 4 x minus 1 to the power of 3 x plus 3 squared and then x plus 5. The number of turning points will be how many? Number of turning points really depend on number of zeros and number of even zeros. Let me give you a formula here. Number of turning points is equal to number of zeros minus 1 plus number of even zeros. So we'll use this formula to find number of turning points. You can always sketch these functions and figure out the answer, right? In the first one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So we get 4 zeros minus 1 and even zeros are 1 and 1, 2. So plus 2. So that gives us 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. So that is the number of turning points. The next one here is kind of tricky. What we have here is two zeros, but we are taking the function above. It doesn't really change the number of turning points. So we can still count them like zeros, right? So we have two zeros, both of them are even. So the formula will be two minus one plus two even zeros. And that gives us four minus one as three. Now in this case, we have x minus one to the power of four. The function is like a parabola, which opens upwards with equation the form of a vertex form. So that gives you only one turning point, right? So this one is just one turning point. You could use a formula like this. Ignoring the term minus 3, we have 1, 0, minus 1, plus number of even 0 is 1. So that gives us one turning point. Now here, x squared plus 1 is not a 0, not a real 0. x minus 1 is a 0. So we have 1, 0, minus 1 for the minus 1, and plus 1 for a number of even zeros. So what we have here is again one turning point. The next one here is x squared minus 1 times x plus 2. You could always write this as x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x plus 2. So we have three zeros, minus 1. All are linear, so none of them is even, so 3 minus 1 is 2. So that is how, using the formula, we can get the number of turning points, right? So I hope that is helpful. Now, some of you can also sketch these functions and compare the results. I hope you find it interesting. Feel free to write your comments, share my videos, and if you like, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.